This question is asking us to determine how many atoms of barium are present in a 100 milliliter sample of water. And uh, in order to do this, we really need to understand what is meant by the term parts per million. So here are some ways of thinking about it. Parts per million can be interpreted as how many milligrams of a solute, that would be the barium in this case, are dissolved in one kilogram of solution. Now technically the kilogram of solution is the water that the barium is dissolved in plus the small mass of barium. Uh, for this example, we're going to just ignore that mass of barium as it contributes to the mass of the overall solution because it's such a small, small mass of barium. As we think about this, if we had one milligram, that would be 0 0.001 grams, and one kilogram of solution would be 1,000 grams. So if we have one one-thousandth of a gram divided by 1,000 grams, that's where we're coming up with the one part per million or one part in one million. Um, if we were going to calculate this in, into parts per million, we would take 0 0.001 grams, divide by 1,000, and then multiply by one million, we would come up with an answer of one part per million. The EPA website will list the information about barium in a slightly different way. They're not using parts per million. Uh, what they will provide is how many milligrams of contaminant are present in one liter of solution. So the EPA website will say that there are two milligrams of barium in one liter of water. The reason why this means the same thing as two parts per million is that two milligrams of barium is equivalent to 0 0.002 grams of barium. One liter of solution, because our solution is water, will be equivalent to 1,000 milliliters because the density of water is one gram for every one milliliter. This will be 1,000 grams of solution. So a description of a sample of water that has two milligrams of barium for every one liter is the same thing as saying that this sample has two parts per million of barium. To solve this problem, we're going to use the dimensional analysis technique. Let's begin with the volume of the sample that we're working on here. That's 100 milliliters. We're going to need to convert that to liters first. We need to remember that in one liter there are 1,000 milliliters. In our next step, we're going to include information about the legal limit for barium. Now we've converted to how many grams of barium would be present in the sample. The next step is to convert this to a number of moles. To do that, we'll need to use the molar mass of barium. And our final step will be to use Avogadro's number to convert from moles of barium to atoms of barium. Once we've completed our calculation, we'll find an answer of 8.8 .8 times 10 to the 17 atoms of barium.